you can use Fizzbone Colliders to directly affect or restrict the movement of Fizzbone Transforms. This can be useful for preventing Fizzbones from clipping, or allowing objects on your model to collide with your Fizzbones. For this example, we'll create a Fizzbone Collider that restricts the hair bones from moving inside the head. Bear in mind that in most cases, you should use angle limits on your Fizzbones instead, as they are far more performant than colliders. On the component you want to have a Fizzbone Collider on, click Add Component and search for VRC Fizzbone Collider. Since I'm using this to restrict hair movement, I'm going to put it on the head bone. Then, on your Fizzbone component, under Collision, add the object with your Fizzbone Collider to the array of colliders. You will see a large sphere gizmo appear in your scene. This is a visual of the Fizzbone Collider. You can change the shape to be either a sphere, a capsule, or a plane. You can use radius to change the size of the collider from its origin point. If your collider is a capsule, you can also change the height along the y-axis. You can use the position and rotation axes to offset the collider from the root transform. Enabling inside bounds will cause the collider to contain bones inside of it instead of keeping them out. Enter play mode in Unity to test out your collision. Remember that your Fizzbone component must have a collision radius set in order to collide with anything. Play mode doesn't save any changes you make. If you make any changes to your Fizzbone collider while in play mode, right click the component and select Copy Component. Then, once out of play mode, right click the component again and select Paste Component Values. And that's all there is to know about Fizzbone colliders. Upload your avatar and enjoy your reduced clipping.